So, what then is really spirituality? A lot of people these days speak about spirituality while not really knowing what it is. And it's a lot of convoluted stuff, it's a lot of imaginary stuff, it's a lot of airy-fairy stuff that they speak about. But really all spirituality means is being in and as with the spirit. What is the spirit? Or what is consciousness? What is the I am? What is consciousness, awareness, presence? What is it? It is nothing, but it is that which is facilitating everything. I see and hear my thoughts. I see the camera, so I'm separate from it. I even see that I'm seeing with the eyes, but it's something else seeing it, and that's the consciousness behind it all, which doesn't have any taste or any shape or any form. And then what is not being with the spirit is really living in the imaginary thinking world. In other words, when people think about the past or project, fantasize about the future, you basically kind of, not really, but you kind of leave the aware presence of the I am and the spirit in reflection, in reflective form. So this now, a universe, everything is now. There's no time in existence. There's only this now, the ever present moment, the eternal moment of now. And that is the reflection of the spirit. And then I am that I am or being aware of being aware is the spirit. So to be spiritual is to just be aware of being aware without being aware of something, without always having to go back onto thoughts and to memories and what I did yesterday, what I'm going to do tomorrow and whether I'm going to have enough money in a week or two from now or a year or two from now, or whether I'm going to be alive or all these things. So in other words, the only difference and the only thing that spirituality means is are you willing to be both with the I am and the reflection of I am, which is the formal it's seemingly formal because it's not matter, but it's a consciousness appearance. Are you willing to be here and now? That's what it means to be here and now. To be here and now means, are you willing to, instead of always wander off in your thoughts about things that already have happened or things that may happen, are you willing to live here instead? You see, most people are continuously re structuring the identity, restructuring their personality, restructuring that false ego structure, which is constantly thinking that you're a time creature. Time exists only in the thinking mind. It goes back and forth. It goes to, oh, last week I was with so-and-so and this and that, and, and it talks all the day because it can't be here. It can't be even in the reflection of the spirit, which is this formal appearance in consciousness. This. This is the form. This is the reflection of the spirit. And the spirit itself, I am, is just I am that I am. All things that can be seen, smell, taste are in the formal world. That's the reflection of the spirit. But at least the reflection of the spirit is now. But when the mind wants to reflect on that reflection, we go into the mental human made world. The world where you live thinking about tomorrow and constantly, even while you're doing the dishes, while you're walking in the park, people are thinking about what's not here. To be here, at least, to be now, what Eckhart Tolle and all these people speak about, these beautiful people who know, who've seen, who've realized, who live it. But all the sages and all the masters speak about is to be now means at least stay with the reflection of the spirit, which is this now. There is no time in it. It's always now. Stay here. Boom. Pin your attention here on the well-being, on the joy, on your breathing, on the wind, on the sound of the birds. At least stay with the reflection of the spirit and not your own reflective mind. Only your reflective mind always tortures you. Only when you constantly try to reenact, reincarnate, reenact by constantly thinking about who you were. Only by doing that, you leave this beautiful, reflective aspect of the spirit. And if you close even your eyes and even leave the forms, and even the sensations of the body of joy and bliss and well-being, only I remain being aware of being aware, 
Are you still and silent enough to be just aware of being aware? Or do you need more impulses? Do you only think you exist when you have and do and go and think? Be in the spirit, both in the spirit itself as I am that I am, and in the reflective aspect of the spirit, the mirror image of the spirit, here and now. Be still and know that I am God, which is good, here now. Spirituality means leaving that place, and because somehow it's more important to you or whoever is doing it to be thinking about something that's not here. That's not I am aware of aware, that's not I'm aware of the spirit reflection in the moment here and now, but instead going off thinking about yourself as a person in existence, as a time creature that was born and is going to die and worrying about the money and where you're going to be and this and that, and who said this and that, and which movie you're going to watch tonight and all these things that I keep going and going and going until boom, that aspect will know you'll never have known your own true spirit, the I am. So remain here. Spirituality is that, to remain as the awareness that is aware being aware. Thank you.